Hi guys and welcome back to another fly fishing video. So off late I've been making a lot of how-to videos on leader construction and I've put various diagrams up on the videos and lots of people have asked me what kind of knots I use to make up these leaders as well as the knots I prefer to attach flies to the tippet material. So in this video I'm going to cover the three knots that I use whilst fly fishing. So without further ado Let's get into it. The first knot we're going to look at then is the improved clinch knot. Now I use this knot to secure my tippet material to my fly pattern and also the tippet material to the fly line. It's a really good knot, I've never had any problems with it over the years and when tied correctly it works well with both fluorocarbon and monofilament. For demonstration purposes then I'm going to be using some of this line. It's a, a sort of pinkish colour and I'm going to call this the rat's tail. This section is the main running line. So I'm going to take my fly and I'm going to feed my rat's tail up through the eye. Now it can come up from below or it can come down from above. It makes no difference to this knot. First thing I'm going to do is use my thumb and forefinger to pinch a loop and I'm going to make a minimum of four turns around my main line with my rat's tail. Once that's done, I'll come back to my loop, it'll go through that loop and then back down through the big loop we've just created. Now at this point I would damp down my knot with some saliva and then as I tighten up it forms a nice knot then I can take away my waist end. Now it's very important to use saliva or knot slick just wet the knot. If you don't, what you get is something called line burn and it can weaken your fluorocarbon or monofilament, whatever you're choosing to fish with. Now I'm going to put a short animation up showing in slow time how this knot is tied. The next knot we're going to look at then is the perfection loop. Now I don't use this knot often, I've got to be honest, but when I'm fishing a single fly or a bigger fly pattern such as a snake, a humongous or even pike flies, I will often use a perfection loop. I believe it gives just a little bit more movement on the fly in the water. So let's have a look at the perfection loop. First thing we've got to do is I'm going to use the same material and the same fly. I want to get an overhand knot into this material and that's simple enough. So we turn it over onto itself to make a loop and then we go through the loop we've just created. And as you can see it's just like how you start your shoelaces if you can remember back to when you used to learn that. Now what I've left is approximately three to four inches of line to work with and I'm going to bring that up through the eye of the hook and what you want to do is follow your main line up so I'm going to bring that up oops I'm going to bring that up through to create a loop now with my rat's tail I'm going to turn it approximately four times you can add it, you can make it up to six, depending on the thickness of your line. And then what I want to do is go back down through the loop. I don't want to come up, I want to follow it back down. Then once that's into place, you can scrunch down your loop, depending on what size of loop you want. And at this point, again, I'm going to wet it down with saliva and I'm going to use my teeth on the tag end to scrunch it up and there you have your perfection loop all that remains to be done is to snip away your waste now once more it's probably quite difficult to see while I've been doing that so I'm going to put a short animation up 
showing how the perfection loop is tied. Folks, if you're enjoying the videos and they're giving you some value, please don't forget to like, share and subscribe. I would really appreciate your support. Well, we come to the last knot, the surgeon's knot. This is my preferred knot when building leaders for fishing multiple flies. It's very strong. Again, it works well with both monofilament and fluorocarbon. And if tied correctly, it shouldn't let you down. The surgeon's knot then. Again, I'm going to use this rather thick, unrealistic material for uh, demonstration purposes. So what I've got is a longer length here and a shorter length. And this is going to be my dropper material. So what I want to do is measure out where I want it. So for the purpose of demonstration, this is going to be halfway. And I'm going to lay the two pieces of tippet material together. First thing I want to do is form an overhand loop and then simply come through that once, twice, three times. Now at this point I would again dampen down with saliva and then simply pull it tight. Now because it's thick, uh, it'll look very bulky and awkward and I'm going to put a little picture up showing you what it looks like with £9 material rather than this, but if you bear with me. And you want to cut the end that's pointing towards your fly line. So that bit comes away and what you have is your surgeon's knot and you would tie on your dropper using your improved clinch knot. Well guys, that's my three essential knots for fly fishing. Over 30 odd years, these knots have served me well. Now, if you have knots that you think might be better than the ones I'm using, I'd love to hear about them. Please leave a comment in the section below and I'll be glad to look into it. As always, thanks for watching the video and I'll see you all next time.